Hey guys, Bill Jordan, I'm back. You know, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Glad you're with us. I appreciate you coming in, checking us out. You know, it's very uh, rare that I have a guest of your quality come on board and share some time with us. So what I want to do, right, when I talk about, oh uh, yeah, we're talking, this is a series about artists, artist leadership. What is art? Why do you do what you do? And one of the things that, that we have to understand as artists, what we do is we have to be able to control the viewer's perceptions. Whoa, I know, that's not fair. That's manipulation. Yes, that's right. It's only, it's, why is that not fair? If you have a clear idea what your mission is, what your purpose is. Now, I know that's a broad statement because you could argue both sides, but I'm arguing this side, that your purpose is to raise the consciousness of the planet. It's a good thing, not a bad thing. Of course, good and bad is relevant, I understand, but you got my point. So let's say, right, that, you know, you're gonna, you, the reason why you have to go to a place like the Academy of Composition, for example, because you have to know how to plan your work so that you can actually, you know, control people's perceptions. It's not something that's done off the cuff. Very few people can do that. <clears throat> Maybe one in a million. Okay? So now, that's why <clears throat> I'm saying to you, as a leader, as an artistic leader, you know, you have to get better trained. And I don't mean in color stuff, you know, I don't mean, you know, drawing. I mean just in planning what you're going to do. Because what good is the planning, I mean the drawing, if you don't have a plan? Where they say, uh, you, you, you plan, you plan to, uh, you work, you know, if you plan to fail, if you don't plan, you fail, something like that. If you don't plan, you're going to fail. That's what it says. If you do plan, you win because you had a plan, right? So that the planning is tied into, you know, the controlling the people's perceptions and the ultimate, the ultimate thing you want to control is their, their consciousness. You want to raise their consciousness. That's why you do what you do. Now you're going to say, I don't like that. I want to make things for that pretty, 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 pretty. You can make things that are pretty, pretty, pretty. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have planned out how to control their perceptions. Okay. My name is Bill like Clinton. You're like Michael. Right, you can reach me at 201-790-3663. Now you can go to the Academy of Composition. That's the Academy of Composition dot com. You know, reach out over there, and those guys over there will, will help you start planning your work so you can you can be a better leader. See, one of the five elements of leadership, of artistic leadership, is what knowledge. You have to have more knowledge, right? Now you could argue you say, well, that that equates to skill. That does to a degree but you have to have this special knowledge. And part of the special knowledge <clears throat> is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Part of the special knowledge is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about storytelling because you're a visual storyteller. And, the, and when you go to the Academy of Composition, they will help you tell your story more efficiently, more powerfully. It will resonate really at a deeper level, right? Than the other people that you're competing against. But your, your job really is just to raise the consciousness of the people. That's your job. <clears throat> All right, so call me back, 201-790-3368. Peace out.